Welcome to the RPD Residence Chemistry. Now, our topic is classification of ligands. So, earlier classes we discussed about the basic terminology in coordination chemistry. One of the best terminology in coordination is ligands. So, ligands is nothing but a group or an atom which can be coordinated to the central metal atom through its pair of electron is known as ligands. So, generally ligands are classified into several types but uh, the basic uh, two classifications mentioned here. Now, the ligands which is classified based on their donor atoms. Nothing but density. So, first classification is based on their density. Second classification is nature of a ligand. Nature of ligand. So, according to density, it is classified into several types. One is monodentate, bidentate, tridentate, tetradentate, pentradentate, hexadentate. So, but the nature of ligand, it was classified into several types. First one is ambidentate, flexidentate, bridging, pi acceptor, final one is chelating. So, the very useful classification in classification of ligands is based on their density, based on their nature of ligands. So, now, again, thoroughly, monodentate ligands are classified into three types. One is monodentate positive ligands, monodentate negative ligands, monodentate neutral ligands. Now, monodentate ligands. So, according to previous first classification, depending, depending upon the number of atoms in a ligand which is connected to the central metal atom it is classified into mono, bi, tri, tetra etc. So if only one atom in ligand, one atom in ligand which donates the lone pair of electrons or negative charge of electrons to the central metal atom then it is said to be monodentate ligand. So based on, based on that monodentate ligands are classified into three types. One is negative monodentate ligands. Second one is neutral monodentate ligands third one is positive monodentate ligands so if negative charge electrons shared their electrons then it's said to be negative monodentate ligands if lone pair of electron shared their electron to the central metal atom then it's said to be neutral monodentate ligands if positive charge on the lone pair of electrons they both have connected in uh, the both have having only one ligand which donates the lone pair of electron then it's said to be positive monodentate ligand positive monodentate ligand so based on that we discussed it clearly the first one is a negative monodentate ligand negative monodentate ligand so here the definition tells about the negative charge donates their pair of electrons to the central metal atom. So, we discussed uh, some examples. The first one is H minus, very popular one, H minus. Now, here we discussed based on the, uh, the ligand name and the charge. So, the, the ligand symbol is H minus, the name of ligand is hydrido. Now, the charge is minus one. So, the charge very useful in further oxidation state calculations. Now, H, F minus, Cl minus, Br minus, Iodine minus. Now, here the name is fluoro, chloro, bromo, iodo. So, all the halide ions charge is negative, minus one only. Now, based on that, simply we discussed in very tricky manner. Now, we discussed about uh, oxy monodentate ligands. Like here, OH minus. Now, we discussed about negative. That's why it's like definitely having negative charge only. OH minus. Then it is called hydroxy. O minus 2 is called oxo. Hydroxo. Oxo. O2 minus. Now, here oxygen content is more. That's why it is called as a super oxo. So, examples of KO2, NaO2, NA like that. Again, now here, O2, 2 minus, that means a peroxo. 
Here oxygen oxygen linkage is there. So now it is called peroxo. So these are the oxygen family. Now similarly, uh, amine family monodentic ligands also discussed. Now here NH2 minus, which came from ammonia. So ammonia simply it is called as MI. Now one of the proton which is replaced from the ammonia, then it's said to be NH2 minus is nothing but amido. So another proton also replaced by replaced from the ammonia, then it's said to be NH minus 2, which is nothing but imido. Now we have three protons from ammonia replaced. Now it becomes N minus 3 azido. Sorry, nitrido. Now N3 minus. Now N3 minus, which is called azido. So nitrogen, nitrogen linkage present, then it's said to be azido group. Then it's said to be azido group. So now here positive, positive, negative. One negative, positive cancel to each other, one minus present over there. That's why here all the examples having only minus one charge. Mercafto sulfido, SO4 minus 2, sulfato, SO3 minus 2, sulfido, sulfito, like this. Again, we discussed some of the ambiguity ligands. Uh, they are also contributing minus one charge only. Now, the, the best example for ambient and linkage also was. So, those are CN minus, which is called cyano, NC minus, it is called isocyano. So, here the donor atoms are changed. Now, here carbon, now here nitrogen. Again, SCN minus. Thiocyano, NCS minus, isothiocyano, CNO minus, cyanato, CNO minus, cyanato. Like this, some of the ambidentic ligands, thus NO2 minus, nitro, ONO minus, Nitrito. All these complexes contribute negative one charge only, which is nothing but minus one charge only. That's why those are called negative dentate ligands. The, they are contributing one pair of electron to the central metal atom. That's why it is called as a monodentate. So totally it is called monodentate negative ligands. Monodentate negative ligands. Now we discussed monodentate neutral ligands. Monodentate neutral ligands. Monodentate neutral ligands. Monodentate neutral ligands. So, monodentate neutral means it donates their lone pair of electrons to the central metal atom. So, the best examples are triple names carbonyl, aqua, amine. like a thiocarbonyl nitrosyl thionitrosyl these are the different nomenclature monodentate ligands monodentate neutral ligands again several civil, simple ligands which are very useful in the organometallic catalyst as well as coordination complexes the best one is trialkyl phosphine. Trialkyl phosphine. So now phosphorus having one lone pair of electrons. These lone pair of electrons can donate to the central metal atom. Now if R is replaced by methyl group PMU3, trimethyl phosphine. If it is replaced by ethyl, triethyl phosphine if it is replaced by a phenyl group triphenyl phosphine triphenyl phosphine which is used in Wilkinson catalyst rhodium triphenyl phosphine three times CO so which is used in uh, Wilkinson catalyst Wilkinson catalyst again Ammonia is the best example of a monodentate neutral ligand. Again, now a single nitrogen organic molecule is nothing but uh, pyridine. It donates only one lone pair of electron from nitrogen atom. That's why it is also called as monodentate neutral ligands. 
like a pyrazine. Here it having two lone pair of electrons from two nitrogen atoms, but it is contributing only one atom. That's why it is also called as a monodentate neutral ligand, pyrazine, like a hydrazine. like a dinitrogen dioxygen dinitrogen dioxygen so ligands like a amino groups ammonia we discussed it is a monodentic ligand which is connected to the one of the methyl group methyl amine methyl amine so, here two nitrogen groups, two methyl groups, sorry, dimethylamine, if it is replaced by three methyl groups, then it is called trimethylamine. Now, our best example is triethylamine. Triethylamine, which is the best base, nothing but T. Triethylamine. These are the neutral dentate ligands. Again, some other neutral dentate ligands are methyl cyanide, which is nothing but acetonitrile, or methyl cyanide. So CH3 and say methyl isocyanide. Methyl isocyanide again triphenyl arsine. Triphenyl arsine. So which is nothing but a triphenyl phosphine family. So these are the monodentate neutral ligands. Now bidentate ligands. Bidentate ligands means a ligand which donates two pair of electrons from two different atoms to the central metal atom is known as bidentate ligands. So generally, bidentate ligands are commonly used bidentate ligands of these. So EN, PN, TN, BN, these are the simplest representation. We discussed about uh, these bidentate ligands very clearly, how it is formed, where it is formed. The first one is EN. EN means ethylene diamine. Ethylene diamine. That means ethylene diamine. Simply, it is ethylene. So, now here, one of the pi bond and electrons which is replaced by the two amino groups. That's why it is called as ethylene diamine. It is ethylene which is came from the ethylene it having two amino groups that's why it is called as ethylene diamine so the simplest re representation of uh, ethylene diamine is en next one is pn and that means uh, propylene diamine propylene diamine which is came from the propylene the propylene double bonded electrons are replaced by two amino groups that's why it is called as propylene diamine propylene diamine the fourth one is tn which is nothing but a trimethylene diamine. Trimethylene diamine. Simply CH2, 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 NH2. Now, CH4 is called methane. One of the hydrogen replaced by the alkane, which is called as methyl. If two hydrogens are replaced by the alkane, which is called methylene. Now, here, three methylene groups are present. That's why it is called as a trimethylene diamine. TN and PN are ligand isomers. T and PN are ligand isomers. Now here, BN, CH3, CH double bond, CH, CH3. 2 butene, which came from the 2 butene, and now one of the double bond which is replaced by the 2 amino groups, then it is called butylene diamine. Butylene diamine, that's why it is called as BN. Again, isobutylene diamine also there. Isobutylene diamine. This is called IBN, isobutylene diamine. These are the diamino functionality bidentate ligands. These are the diamino functionality bidentate ligands. Now, 
filled in by the tetel ligand so it is gas this is pyridine simply pyridine is monodentate neutral ligand why because it donates their lone pair of electrons only again now this is called 2 comma 2 by pyridine so which is which is nothing but a bp by pyridine is also an bidentate ligand again which is nothing but 1 comma 10 phenanthylene or ortho phenanthylene which is also known as bidentate ligand opn o phenyl the simplest representation of ortho phenanthylene again so next one is diaz so the name of diaz is nothing but ortho phenylene ortho phenylene bis tetramethyl bis dimethyl arsine ortho phenylene bis dimethyl arsine is nothing but a diaz as previously given in csir exam this is, so this is the best example after the diaz binap so which is the chiral chiral ligands which is very useful in asymmetric synthesis binap which is used in the asymmetric synthesis binap in asymmetric synthesis we will discuss it clearly next one is diphenyl so next one is oxalate coo minus coo minus oxalate here ox here charge it is contributed by the minus 2 charge now glycinate which is nothing but a simply represented by glo CH2 NH2 COO minus. So the simplest uh, amino acid is glycine, which is only optically inactive amino acid. So glycinate is also negative one charge. Next one is uh, propylonate. Propylonate. Propylonate, which is came from propylium. Propylonate. Next one is ACAC. So simply, it is called acetone. So now, one of the hydrogen from acetone, which is replaced by another acetone group, then it is called acetyl acetone. Acetyl acetone. So in general, acetyl acetone is unstable in ketone form. Now it readily undergoes ketoneal tetramerism. It gives CH three COH. Double bond CH C double bond O CH three. Now here it is a seventy three percent. It is a twenty three percent, twenty seven percent. Now enol form is very stable. That's why it readily forms the enolization. Now here one of the proton is replaced from it. Then it becomes acetate. 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 Simply it is denoted by AC AC minus one. it is also the best example in uh, bidentate uh, ligands bidentate uh, ligands so now another example sir dmg the best example which is uh, commonly given in uh, previous csr question several times now dmg simply dimethyl glyoxamate 
So, how it is constructed? We, do, we don't remember the ligands structure. So, simply we construct the ligands from the nomenclature. So, simply glyoxane, that means C double bond NOH. So, before that, glycols. Glycols are nothing but uh, adjacent alcohols. Adjacent alcohols, which is called as glycols. And now, here we, we take the glycol. Again, the glycol, which is replaced by the glyoxanes. That's why it is called as glyoxane. Now, the glyoxanes having two methyl functionality. That's why it is called as dimethyl glyoxane. So, now here one of the hydroxyl, one of the hydroxyl group lost their proton and it becomes O minus. That's why it is called as a dimethyl glyoximator. Dimethyl glyoximator, which is simply denoted by DMG. So, which is readily available in the nickel DMG taken twice complex in form of nickel DMG taken twice. Again, 8 hydroxy quinolonate. 8 hydroxy quinolonate. Which is nothing but the structure of the quinoline is like this. This is an anti malarial drug, pharmacophore, uh, quinoline. Quinoline having the eighth position O minus. That's why it is called as 8 hydroxyl quinolonate. 8 hydroxyl quinolonate. Next one is DTC. So the best example is. Dialkyl, dithio, dialkyl, dithio carbamate, which is simply known as a DTC. Dialkyl D, dithio T, carbamate C. DTC is also the best example of the uh, bidentate ligands. Bidentate ligands. Now the remaining are NAC, NAC. This is a very complexable ligand. So, it is simply denoted like this, phenyl, phenyl, methyl, methyl, now here double bond, but the negative charge over there, that's why the overall delocalized charge present here, one hydrogen is there. So, the name of compound simply written N, N dash, diphenyl, 2, 4, pentane, Pentane diiminator, diiminator. This is simply denoted as NAC, 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 NAC. The final one is dipyrrolin, dipyrrolin. I think there are the 18 or 19 complexes. 19 bidentate ligands are present here. These are the very useful bidentate ligands. Again, based on this, based on these bidentate ligands, we can classify it into further two types based on their donor atoms. So simply, it is denoted by A A notation and A B notation. So another classification of bidentate ligands, it is classified into Two types. Symmetrical bidentate ligands, unsymmetrical bidentate ligands. Symmetrical bidentate ligands, unsymmetrical bidentate ligands. If both donor atoms are same, if both donor atom are different. So, the best example, is that this is uh, represented by AA, the representation very useful in future uh, isomerism in coordination chemistry. It is represented by AB. So, the examples of AA is ethylene diamine, uh, like a propylene diamine, trimethylene diamine, like a BN, or the, there's a bipyridyls, or the phenanthylene, now, the unsymmetrical bidentate ligands are unsymmetrical bidentate ligands are glycinato, 8-hydroxyquinolonato, 
etc. So now I'll give the some assignment per view. So uh, previously uh, given the data from a bidentate ligand. So please note which is a symmetrical bidentate ligand, which is unsymmetrical bidentate ligand. I think it is given by 18 or 19 bidentate ligands. Please assign their uh, symmetry, symmetry, based on their symmetry, whether it is a symmetrical bidentate ligand or unsymmetrical bidentate ligand. Now we discussed about uh, uh, tridentate ligands. Tridentate ligands. Now it is a tridentate ligands. Now we discussed about the just the three ligands from tridentate. One is diene. Another one is terpy. Third one is T. No name. T A C N. T A C N. The first one structure is diene. That means diethylene triamine. Now here are two ethylene groups. NH. Two ethylene groups. These are the two ethylene groups. Now it contains two amino groups from both terminals. Now third one it contains from in between them. So these are the three donor atoms from diene. That means diethylene triamine. Diethylene triamine. The second one is terpenidine. Terpenidine. This is called, now, sorry, I, I, I made a mistake. This is called 2 comma, 2 prime comma, 2 double prime terpyridyl. Simply it is known as 2 comma, 2 prime comma, 2 double prime terpy. Now, the third one is triazocyclonanine. Triazocyclonanine. NH. NH NH This is called triazocyclonanine triazocyclonanine These three are the best example for tridentate ligands Now it is a tetradentate ligands Now it is tetradentate ligands So, here we discussed uh, 4 or 5. The first one is triene. That means uh, triethylene tetramine. Triethylene tetramine. Yeah. Now, here one ethylene, NH. Another ethylene, NH. Third ethylene, NH2, NH2. So, this is means triethylene tetramine. Triethylene tetramine. 1, 2, 3. Here, 3 ethylenes. Four amines. This is called a triethylene tetramine. Now, the second example is trun. NH2, NH2, NH2. It is also an example of a tetradentate ligands. Now, here, three amino functionality donates their lone pair of electrons. Again, fourth one, tertiary amine also can participate in the uh, bond in, in coordinated in metal atom. Now it is a it is a denoted by trend. Now the third one is NTA. That means nitrito triacetate. Nitrito triacetate. CH2 COO minus CH2 COO minus CH2 COO minus. Now it is called a nitrito triacetate. Nitrito triacetate. Now the fourth one is Tetramethyl cyclam. Tetramethyl cyclam. Tetramethyl cyclam. This is called TMCA. Tetramethyl cyclam. So these are the uh, tetradentate ligands. And now, in generally, pentadentate ligands having only one example that is called tetrine. Pentadentate ligands having only one example that is a pentaline. 
catrin sorry these are the pentadentate ligands catrin so simply ethylene nh2 nh 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 nh2 now here 1 2 3 4 four ethylene group 1 2 3 4 5 five amine groups tetraethylene pentamine tetraethylene pentamine tetraethylene pentamine these are called the tetrene so now the final one is hexadentate ligand which is very useful ligand for in our inorganic chemistry as well as bio bio organic synthesis hexadentate ligand so the best best and unique example of hexadentate ligand is edta that means ethylene diamine ethylene diamine tetra acetic acid tetra acetic acid we discussed uh, with a uh, clear structure here so the edta abbreviation is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid the structure of ethylene diamide like this edta like this now here that means ethylene which came from ethylene it having two amino groups ethylene diamine we previously discussed this is nothing but en now here additionally it is added by the four acetic, four acetic acid groups now here two hydrogens here two hydrogens these four hydrogens replace coo minus ch2 coo minus ch2 coo minus ch2 coo minus now here hexadentate means hexadentate means it having six donor atoms. Where is it six donor atoms? Now here one oxygen atom, another oxygen atom, second, third, fourth, fifth one is a nitrogen atom, sixth one also a nitrogen atom. Here six donor atoms present, two neutral nitrogen atoms, four oxy negative charged atoms, four oxy negative charged atoms. So generally EDTA capped in calcium plus two or magnesium plus two in hard water in hard water so edta cropped in calcium plus 2 and magnesium plus 2 in hard water only in hard water only again it is also available in uh, lead edta complex lead edta complex so the general representation of uh, edta with metal like this metal so uh, be careful now here it is octahedral complex we discussed in further bonding theories like Werner's uh, Sidgwick theory we, we will give the clarity about octahedral structure now here ethylene diamine ethylene diamine so this is the simplest structure of ethylene diamine now here it having one of the acetic acid group so CH2 COO minus so this is the first bond now again second bond CH2 C double bond O O minus so these are the two bonds now here similarly ch2 c double bond o o so this is the third acetic acid group now it is ch2 c double bond o o so this is the fourth acetic acid now the overall structure of edta with metal like this so this is the metal edta structure metal edta structure so which is a chiral mighty which is a chiral mighty 